Hello, Scott here from Ram Lures, and I just wanted to show you a quick way that I tie up some stinger hooks before I even get on the water. That way when I grab a jig, I can quickly slip a stinger hook on it and get it into the water. I, I use um, just a standard uh, packaging. Um, I like the Danielson brand because uh, they're inexpensive and, and they've got a little bit lighter line on it compared to other brands. That way I'm not tying up a bunch of hooks onto line. So one of the hard things about tying up a stinger hook without some type of jig is it's very difficult to get a consistent length on the stinger hook. And then of course you're fiddling with trying to tie a stinger hook while you're rocking around in a boat and, and you should have your tackle in the water, you shouldn't be tying up stinger hooks. So I designed this very basic jig to be able to tie up a bunch of stinger hooks and have them ready when I'm out on the water. Uh, it's a closed pin clip. I drilled a little bit of a hole in the top here and there is a nail or pin through here which captures the hook and then I have a line marked on my board so I know exactly how long I need to build it for this length and you can have multiple lines depending on how long you wanted your stinger hook and then I've got this hook system and this does a couple of things it allows me to to rotate it and tie the knot really quick it also leaves a large enough gap in my knot so i can slip it off of this hook and then put it onto my twister seal and be able to actually um, slip it off the twister seal and onto my jig so let me tie one of these up and i'll show you how it's done all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is prep the snells for the jig so you're going to take the snells out of the package and i like to just take them and clip off these ends and then you're ready you've got uh, plenty of line length to be able to tie it up in the jig and no loops to have to deal with so you want to put the hook into your clothespin holder and then grab your metal hook and loop it and then twist it about six to eight times, you're doing an improved clinch knot. Now fish the line back through the small opening and then back through itself. We've all done these kind of knots. And then you're just going to cinch it up onto the metal. And what this does is it tightens the knot up, but it leaves a little bit of a gap so you can then put it onto your, onto your holder until you have to put it on the hook. So there's, there's just a loop there now. And if you take this twister seal and put it on the twister seal. Now it's sitting there ready to be installed onto a jig or anything else. So I'm just gonna show you tying the stinger hook onto a jig now. One of the nice things about using this is you get a very consistent length on your stinger hook lines. Um, you just take one of the stinger hooks off of your holder and then slip your hook right through the loop that you made and then it'll cinch up nice and tight. You want to pull on kind of both ends of it and then clip the tail in and slide it up towards the front and you're ready to go. You've got a stinger hook on a jig that fast when you're out on the water. 